Hi everyone, welcome to For the Geeks. Uh, in this video, um, I will show you how I use uh, Chat GPT to improve my software development skills. So first thing I will do is I will log into Chat GPT. So you have to create an account if you haven't already. It's normal way you you know you have to just sign up and then register. And then once you have signed up, obviously you can log in. Once you uh, log in, you will get these three options. I will select on chat GPT here. So once you log in, um, you can see all your history of, um, you know, the chats on the left side. Um, you can actually organize it. So how I did do is like, um, I create a new chat and, um, you know, if I have a particular question about a topic, I maintain the same chat. For instance, let's say, I create a new chat and I want to learn about JavaScript, right? Just imagine, okay? I mean, it's a very broad topic, but for the sake of this, I'm just creating like this. So uh, it will give some answer here. And uh, on the left, you can see that uh, it is uh, named as new chat. Uh, what I will do is once it generates a response, um, so it gives the name here in JavaScript. If you like it, you can keep it. Otherwise, you can just go and change it and save it. So anything related to JavaScript or why for learning JavaScript, what I do is I try to stick to this particular chat. Um, so what advantage of this is that um, it maintains the context. So any next question you ask, it knows that uh, you know if the question is related to javascript or learning to javascript in that matter so before i proceed um, on how i use uh, skills uh, i would also like to uh, tell you that if you want to delete anything on the left it's quite self-explanatory but obviously you can click on this and uh, click here delete it will delete the uh, this chat window and if you are to delete all of them you can clear, click on these three dots down and uh, click on clear conversations it will clear up everything uh, I will show you how I leverage ChatGPT uh, to improve my technical skills. So what happens normally is that when you get your documentation, even if it is official documentation, sometimes it gets um, really tedious and sometimes you don't get what the documentation means. A really good thing that I found with ChatGPT um, was, you know, you can consider it as your friend. And whatever questions you have in your mind, you can just put it and it tries to give answer to you. Um, it answers and obviously you have to cross verify it. I was going through the documentation, Microsoft's documentation for TypeScript and at certain places I found a little confusing. So let me show you what all I put it here. So I told, I'm trying to learn TypeScript. I'm not sure what below code does, right? So uh, it says that the code you provided is an example of generic function in TypeScript. So it also explains uh, in TypeScript what are generic functions and it also tells about what identity function uh, is doing and it explains everything in detail here like the line let my identity so this one uh, declares a variable of type my identity of type this this and which is a function type so it gives a very detailed answer here uh, but then i had a question like okay about how is my identity of type a function type <laughs> I asked how is it of is it a function type? Then um, you know ChatGPT clarified in the given code my identity is not a function type itself, but rather a variable that holds a reference. So uh, if you see my questions in here, you can see that um, I started from a topic and then I dwell into it. And if I have any queries, I ask it like a friend, right? I mean you are a co-programmer or someone or your teacher however you want to look at it but the idea is that you give um, your questions and it explains you even your understandings um, but how do we know like my subsequent questions was that is it annotation for a function type because it has arrow in it is it because it has arrow in it so my question was like how does it know this is a type annotation for a function type then it again clarifies why it is and why what function type it is so these are the questions I asked. Um, if you scroll, if you see here, um, I clearly mentioned that documentation sh says that uh, we could have used a different name for the generic type. So this is a different topic, but again with TypeScript itself, and I say that we could have used a different name for generic type parameter in the type. 
So what different name is it talking about? So this was the code uh, given in the documentation and it said this line here. So the documentation you mentioned is referring to the fact that you can use any name for the generic tab parameter. So it explains everything why it is mentioned in the documentation. And then I say, okay, can I still use below code though it is named input? So I had my clarification here. Okay, I wrote my own code and is that does that make sense? And it says, yes, you can still make it, um, uh, you know, still code with the generic type named input. And I asked a very simple question about this type annotation. It explains you uh, in a similar example, maybe you may want to move the generic parameter. So, you know, I just um, added a few more uh, questions in here. So the gist of it or the idea of it is you ask it and then you can dwell into it. If you have any own questions, just add your own code and it will clarify. So uh, I've really found, uh, you know, I have improved my skills much better in the last few days by just reading the documentation and asking relevant questions or questions you can say uh, to chat GPT. So that's it uh, for this one. Um, I will show you another video, in another video like how I have had a code and I was simply doing a merge sort algorithm and how I had a code and I asked chat GPT to help me, you know, fix the bug or if it is even correct or not in the first place. So let's see that now.